Good morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever and whenever you are. My name is Benjamin, and welcome to another Game Maker tutorial. And this is actually in our in the series that I'm doing with Ryan. Um, he's also known as RM2K Dev, and he runs a channel, uh, a YouTube channel that does videos on Game Maker tutorials as well. And he covers a lot of stuff that I usually don't go over, like physics and. Um, he's also done some tutorials on creating music for your games and um, some neat things like that. So I'm going to put a link for his channel right here. Be sure that you go and check out his channel because his videos are really awesome. So uh, let's jump right into this video because I don't want it to take uh, too much time. I want this one to be a quick one. Today I'm going to go over INI files. And an INI file is just, it, it's a f kind of a text file that has, but instead of .txt, it's .ini at the end. And computer programs can read these files and they're pretty easy to work with. So this is a t this is like an example ini file here and I, I tried to make the font bigger so you can see it. ini files have what are called sections. So my data right here is a section and player stats are sections. And then they have these other things called keys and number HP and attack, they're all keys. They're kind of like variables, actually. You can save data to these keys. And these are the values associated with each key, 8, 150. So this is what an INI file looks like. And GameMaker can open these files and manipulate the data. You can use these to save um, information from your game. Uh, maybe a high score or maybe player stats or something like that. So you can use it to save quite a bit. And I'm going to show you how to do that in Game Maker. So let's pull up my file here. This is a pre-made uh, Game Maker thing. I've got a sprite save, which is green, sprite load, which is blue. I've got two objects, object save and object load. Now let's look at object save first. When they click on this, what it's going to do is it's going to open an INI file called so it calls in ini.open and then the string is the file path so save.ini that's the file that we're going to open then we do ini write real okay and ini write real just means we're writing a number to the file um, we're not writing a string value or uh, we're not writing a character like words we're writing a number so the first um, argument or parameter is the section and if you remember I had a section inside the INI file called my data so the first parameter is the section the second one is a key which is number right and if you come into this INI file you got number right here and the third one is a value and I'm just giving it a random value um, between 1 and 10 and then after we do that, we close the INI file and I just show a message saying that a new number has been saved to the INI file. And then if we go into the load, it's essentially the same thing. There's a left press and then you come into it and we open the INI file just like before, save to INI. And we create um, a variable from the INI file. This time we're reading a real or reading a number from the file instead of writing it. And it has three parameters as well. The first one is the section, which you can see is my data. The, the second one is the key, which is number. And then the last one is a default to return. So if there's not a number there, or if there's not an INI file, it can't find it, then it will return this value. And so if, if that file doesn't exist, then number will equal one. But if the file does exist, then it'll get whatever number is equal to and set it to this variable. And then we close the INI file again. You always want to make sure to close it after you've used it, after you're done using it. And then we show a message which just contains that number that we just got from the file. So let me show you how this works. I'm going to run the game real fast and show you how this works. INI files are really, really useful in Game Maker and uh, they're really easy too. So uh, they don't take, it doesn't take a lot of. Um, a lot to be able to read and write from an INI file. So you can see this is our save. So if we press save, a new number has been saved. And if we press load, it's going to load zero because that was the number we just saved. We save another number, that'll be another random number we can load 
we're loading the number four so it created a new random number now what you'll notice is if I press this a few times and load the number we get the number nine okay that's a great number but if I close the game and then I run the game again the INI file is still there and number still equals nine and so if we load before we save, so if we load before we save, you can see that it's still saved as 9 in the INI file. And it will always be saved as 9. We can close the game again, run it again, and it's still going to be saved as 9 because we're saving that data to the INI file. So that's uh, basically the quick rundown on INI files and how they work. And they're very useful. Hopefully this video helped you. Uh, thank you guys for watching so much. Once again, I'm going to put Ryan's channel right here. Be sure and go check out his channel. It is now his turn, so I'm sure he's going to come up with something real cool to teach you guys too, and it'll be, be uh, real fast as well. So thank you guys for watching. Like, favorite, and subscribe, and I will talk to you guys later.